844, good morning, Grizzlies. Silverstein saddling up for sports, and everybody pipe down and behave yourselves because uh, we're going to film this for his mom, I think. Hey, uh, no. Well, we are. It's Mother's Day. I'm not sending her flowers. To film this. For you better get this up for me on his mom. This is, uh, equipment. Next year we're going to talk about gifts now to get your mom, and it's going to be Silverstein doing the sports video. It's That's going to be a hot commodity. <laughs> and we'll do shout outs if you email me. You can get your mom, mom. The, uh, the, the Missouri Lottery Bass Pro Shop Scratchers game tickets, where you can win them $75,000 instantly, or the Outdoor Adventure of a Lifetime and the Ultimate Outdoor Adventure Second Chance Promotion. That's from the Missouri Lottery. Opening tip of this sportscast begins with Chicago and Tom Thibodeau commenting after a 1-1 series tie after the Bulls played at home. Game three tonight, game four scheduled for Sunday. The Bulls want to remain the only number one seed left in the playoffs. If you will remember back to all of last week, the San Antonio Spurs went down to the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, in baseball, untouchable in April, touchable in, Mar in May. Marlins ace Josh Johnson was battered around for five runs on Thursday in his first start of the month as the St. Louis Cardinals beat Florida 6-3. to three. Matt Holiday had two hits. Two RBIs. Albert Pujols singled three times against Johnson. He was now three and one. National League Pitcher of the Month had an 0.88 or .88 ERA in April. That's not bad. How'd they get it done? Holiday fought off an inside pitch for the tying hit with one out in the eighth, chasing Johnson after 114 pitches. Lance Berkman greeted Mike Dunn with "Hello, a three-run homer." Cardinals went eight for 25 against Johnson, finishing with three straight singles as Johnson's ERA climb to 1.68. Eduardo Sanchez finished for his third save in three chances. Chicago White Sox have been uh, the subject for many punchlines this season. They've been waiting for a month now to shake off a season starting slump that just won't disappear. The bullpen has faltered and the defense has been shaking at all times. What really has this team in last place is in ten and a half games out of Cleveland who's in first is an offense that has been inept to score runs. When teams don't score runs consistently, every fault becomes magnified, and there's seemingly no solution right now. Manager Ozzie Guillen made his own headlines by being suspended, and he isn't sure what to do to get his team going, saying, I don't know what to do. It's gotten so bad the White Sox were no hit earlier this week for the first time in 20 years by a struggling pitcher with an ERA over 9. That's not good. You can check out more on Ozzie Gein if he's going to be around at Silverstein's blog there, at Silverstein Long Blog, grismorningsports.blogspot.com. In Kansas City, Melky Cabrera homer doubled and singled while driving in four runs. Bruce Chen, ageless wonder, allowed one run in seven innings. The Kansas City Royals beat the Baltimore Orioles 9-1 Thursday. Eric Hosmer, the top prospect in Kansas City's talent-rich minor league system, will start at first base on Friday night in his major league debut. He's going to replace struggling Keela Kayahui at first base. Any guess on uh, how Hosmer's been doing in the minor leagues, Quaid? Uh, pretty well. That's why he's getting called up. Well, absolutely. 439 well. That's Ooh. that's not bad. Those are like high school numbers for like, yeah, you know, like in a crappy well. league. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. That's for AAA Omaha. Three home runs, 15 RBIs in 26 games. Slugging percentage of 582. So that could be up a little bit, but, you know. Not bad so far. Ron Artest will not be available for the Lakers uh, game three as he has been suspended by giving guard J.J. Barea a forearm late in the Lakers game two loss Wednesday night. In college basketball, UC Davis has hired former Bradley coach Jim Les to take over its men basketball program. Aggies went 10 and 24 and 12 in the Big West the last season. And after 22 seasons, one national title is Maryland's basketball coach Gary Williams. Hanging up the clipboard. Williams has coached for 33 years, compiling a 668 and 380 record, including 461 and 252 at his alma mater, Maryland, which ranks him third behind Dean Smith and Mike Krzyzewski among ACC coaches. So there you have it. There's your sports. Happy Mother's Day out there to all the moms out there, especially my mom, Mrs. Debbie Silverstein. Right. She's not listening because we, you know, yeah. she's like six hours away, but. Square up on the camera, knock down the fourth wall, tell her Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom.